you have to give a target that is very black and white, not fuzzy, not like, you know, housekeeping or cleaning up or, you know, uh, if you're polite. No, no, it has to be a very black and white target. Something that's easily measurable. Why? Because you, they, you can never have your employees think you're gaming the system. You have to make it consistent. You can't change it every day. Okay. So that, again, they know that you're not changing the system. You have to tie it to uh, quality. You know, you can't just make a bunch of stuff that's lousy that's going to be rejected. That's that's not acceptable. In many cases, spouses. Are the true owners of the company, or the true, uh, uh, will weigh in heavily because they see in the paycheck this massive bonus and they get very fired up about this and they tell their spouse, get to work, don't be goofing off, I want to see that check because all of a sudden the family budget rises to the large new cash bonuses that the employees frequently see. Training, very important. We spend 5% of our direct labor budget on our training. Heavy emphasis on training. It's also more engaging to the employee because the employees that you want, right, are really interested in learning more about the different machines. And they're really interested in learning about how to really get things to move and maximize. Uh, you don't want employees that don't want to learn. Okay? So it, it, it's, it's a wonderful way to embrace great people. And uh, it's, a, it's an attaboy to them, or an attagirl to them, if you send them off to training and, and they learn more. It's a big line item in our budget, but it's a very important line item because it keeps the best talent, and you want to have the smartest talent compared to all your competitors. You hire five talented people, you pay them like eight talented people, and they produce like 10 talented people. You have less people to juggle, and they're all doing amazing things. We pay much better than our competition, but it pays off in spades. And I highly recommend you pursue this. We'll build up inventory when we're slow, so the employees are not familiar with the slowdown. All of a sudden, we're just building up inventory. Why? Because we want to keep that career talent. We don't want them Packed. We want to keep them because the good times are coming. And uh, I recommend to you in a perfect world if you can try to figure out a part of your business model where you can keep employees productive and useful, you know, and, and in effect banking their hard work for, t for later time. But the core guys, the core uh, team members, guys and gals, they're untouchable in our mindset. Okay. It makes your employees much more productive. Um, the, the employees will do less rote work, less things that are uh, menial, less things that are unsafe, uh, less things that are uh, tedious. It, it gives your employees the opportunity to do more brain work. There's more upfront costs with the automation, but it lets your employees do higher level things. It's more engaging and more fun. Hire fast, fire fast. Business is going to someday pick up very nicely for you. You should quickly hire up to keep those clients happy, to keep those clients buying from you so they don't go to the competition. Oh, by the way, sometimes we make mistakes. Sometimes people don't work out at your company. Sometimes they don't have a good fit. You know, we're talking about somebody that doesn't get into the culture thing and talks badly to the employees or is not embracing of the employees. You know, they're not, they're not uh, optimal for us. Inside counsel does not run a business, okay? But you have to be well documented. And, and, and you have to be transparent. And you have to be fair, right? Yeah. So if, if you have those elements, uh, then I, you know, terminating at a certain point is the appropriate course of action. And I recommend, once it's apparent that there's no future here, you have to part ways. Why? Because all the eight players that are sitting next to that person are, are, are disappointed that you're keeping that C or D player in the building. It's pulling them down. It's messing up the karma. And uh, you, you're wasting time getting another A person in that chair. Employees like to know that we have a process, a step-by-step -step methodology of how we do things. It's comforting to them. Because they know if they adhere to the process, that consistency will yield, has been proven to yield, good results, and if you follow that, 
good things will happen, we'll have success time in, time out. You know, if you want to strive for a culture that's very transparent, very straightforward with each other, that, uh, because then what will happen is you'll hear quickly, oh, I got a problem here. You know, rather than people doing cover up, you, know, you don't want like a white Watergate style mentality. You want people to be walking into your office because you have an open door, and they're going to say, boss, you're not going to believe this one, but you want to hear that.